NFL. The Cowboys possessing the football as we rejoin the action in the first. Prescott looks to throw right away. And his first look is incomplete. Well, that, that's not the way you want to start. A first pass attempt and a first drop all in one. Well, you've got plenty of time to make up for it, but obviously not the way you want to get things started. Got to shake that off and get going. To throw once more on second and ten. Prescott. Yeah, that's going to be a gain of five as he gets to the 30. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred the defense. Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And some room to run now. And all the way down to the 17-yard line. A big run that time by Elliott. 43 yards on the ground. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Swinging this out for Pollard. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. Fifteen more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Here's Prescott. Touchdown, Cowboys! Jake Ferguson, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Cowboys will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Extra point by Moore, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. So that drives six plays, 75 yards. And it's capped off for the Cowboys' touchdown. On the return, Marcus Jones from the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. New England trotting into place on offense. Jones in the pats now with a first and 10 at their own 24. They'll run with a former member of the Crimson Tide, Damian Harris. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Now Jones. And this throw incomplete. Well, the defender all over at that time, and it's going to lead to third down. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. And the ball is out. Jones got hit and lost it. And the Cowboys have recovered. With no running backs in the backfield to help pass protect, all the receivers in their patterns, it's going to be hot routes if they sense a blitz or pressure on the quarterback. They've got to be prepared to break routes off early and get the football. In this case, uh, never even had a chance. They popped the ball free in the backfield. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. The first carry now for Tony Pollard. And a good gain here of nine from the 19 down to the ten. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Matt Judon in there to get him for a loss of nine yards, and that also leads to fourth down. Brett Maher now for the Cowboy field goal. It'll be from the right hash, and it'll be a 36-yarder. Marr able to put this one through, and that will extend their lead even further. <laughs> 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 
So the fumble recovery had them set up at ideal field position, but they can muster only three points out of it. Yeah, when you're able to force turnovers, especially when it results in field position like they had, you really want to make it hurt. Here, they take the field goal. That's definitely not what they were hoping for. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. They'll look to get something started. They need to down 10-0 early as they've got it first and 10. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. And it's second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes. Stack the launches deep. A jump ball, and this is caught. A big play there for New England. And even 40 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Harris running straight ahead. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. From the 31, Jones. Well, that'll be incomplete. He took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. So he's seen some good pressure defensively already here in the first quarter. Here's another good example. And they got to get to the 23 here on third. Throwing Jones. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Henry. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 20-yard line. They hand this off to Harris. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Harris. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Seven yards on the pickup there, and now they've got it first and goal. the give this is Harris and he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown Damian Harris a six yard touchdown run and the Pats have cut it back within a score they go I formation fullback leads the way for the touchdown sort of a lost art isn't it it really is but sometimes when you're able to bring it back and use it against other teams they're not prepared for it they haven't seen it in a while and now you gain an advantage and we just saw that advantage result in a touchdown. Full connects on the extra point, and that'll cut it to three at 10-7. Boy, a little panic here early. A first quarter onside kick. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> <laughs> Not one that I've ever met. On second and 11 now, Prescott, a quick throw away and incomplete and that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball not the man winning coverage that'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties and he's able to knock that one away on third down it's Prescott and this is going to be incomplete well they came up with points 
in their first two possessions, but it looks like they'll come up empty here on their third drive. The defense finally starting to get locked into them a little bit. Might have to go a little bit deeper into their playbook on their next possession. Fair catch, singled for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt, and the Patriots take over. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated grooves. Remember the offense touchdown on their last time. Here's Jones throwing on first down. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield. This might be a roughing call. So roughing the passer call is accepted, and this officiating crew not making very many friends here with this crowd. Yeah, we all know that everyone accuses the officials of kind of playing to the home team, but not in this case. They just tried to administer the game the way it's supposed to be. That drew the flag. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Looking to throw, Jones. Open receiver here completes Parker. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. And it's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Now a first down carry for Harris. And he works his way free all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone. Another good game. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. And he rifles one incomplete. Well, they got man coverage on the outside. And my scouting report on these DBs he tells me that they love to take down in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. And the Patriots are going to set up with a first and goal. It's a nice run there. Gets them down to the six-yard line. Well, if they continue to run the football this strong, right up the middle, I don't know if they can wait till halftime to make adjustments. They better find a way to get it done series to series. I don't know if they need to sub some guys out, bring in extra people, maybe change what they're doing on the defensive side of the ball. But right now, they're running the ball very well right at them and right up the middle. And yeah, that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. There's Henry. Touchdown, Patriots. It's a six-yard touchdown pass, and the Patriots have taken the lead. This is why a lot of play callers love play action in this spot. You just want to freeze the linebackers just for a second, then you got a chance to get a quick pass into your tight end right behind them for a touchdown. And now, of course, all scoring plays are reviewed, and I think they're going to take an extra long look at this one. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Extra point up and good by Folk. And the lead is now 14 to 10. So that drives seven plays in length. And it's finished off by a Pats touchdown. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee and they'll start at the 25. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move. 
football much beyond the shadow. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. And the Pats are going to take possession of the football. Well, this had trouble written all over from the start. He's got two extra defensive backs in the game he's got to deal with. They're in a dime set. So everywhere he's looking, he's seeing a different color jersey. And sure enough, this one winds up being intercepted. one down inside the 15. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Back to throw. Jones. And that'll be incomplete. I know in every game we do, we talk about the play lost and now there could be a letdown because they didn't get the interception now you could almost hear the collective gasp on the sideline as he could not come up with that football and he will be very close to a first down but i see the closed fist of the referee and that means fourth down just a one yard pickup on the play and that's going to bring up a fourth down Here's a sneak with Jones. And yeah, they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. They only needed a few inches, and they didn't get much more than that. But by about the width of a shoelace, they convert on fourth down. Only needed a few inches to pick it up and get behind your center and burrow forward like he did. And remember what the GMs have told us? We build an offensive line starting with our center, the guy who can make all the line calls and also move those big defensive tackles in order to pick up first downs. Now Harris, and he'll fight his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sift through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. Touchdown, Patriots! Second touchdown of the game. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Still first quarter, two receiving touchdowns for him. How are they going to slow him down? I think they're thinking about altering their game plan. Whatever they came in with, now maybe you switch a better cover guy to him. Or you make sure you have more people in his general area, wherever he lines up, to at least try and discourage them from throwing the ball to him. Now Volk for the extra point. good and it's 21 10 so the drive there took six plays and it ends with a new england touchdown Polk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board and there will not be a return here it's a touchback and it'll come out to the 25 yard line the dallas offense here set to begin the drive and for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford it, but the defense keeps building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. On play action, Prescott. Open man is Noah Brown. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A gain there of 21 yards. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. From the pistol, here's Elliott. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Prescott off play action. They'll find Lamb crossing the formation for the catch. And they'll be stopped at the 28 on a 
play that started at the 14, they pick up 14. The partner that locked in man coverage out left and they end up running a crossing route, rounded it a little bit more than a slant. And he's just going to angle himself towards the right side of the field, and that's very difficult for the defender to shallow him across all that ground. And they're not able to hook up there, incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away, but the bottom line is that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Throwing again on second and 10. Prescott, this will be caught by Brown. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. Play number seven coming on this drive. It's third and inches. They'll throw again. Prescott over the middle complete. Touchdown! Dak Prescott able to connect with Dalton Schultz. And the Cowboys are back within a score. On that third down call, the goal is to get the ball to their tight end and pick up a first down, but he wasn't satisfied with just that. They got the first down. That was the gravy. He decided to take in the whole meal and rumbled in for a touchdown. Extra point by Moore. Up and good. And it's now 21-17. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. Here's Jones to bring it out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Pats at the line ready to go. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. They'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. And it's Harris on second down. And some space here. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 80 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. Got to give a nod of appreciation to some of those guys up front over on that left side. Several key blocks sprung him. No appreciation for the guys from the backside that didn't allow any leakage and any, anybody could run uh, him down from the nah, backside. They're, they're at the kids' table. Okay, so so front side guys, good. Yep. Backside guys, Man. That, that's what you're supposed to do. I've had better. Okay, either way, worked out quite well, didn't it? A nice sizable gain. They run again with Harris. And he'll work this forward for about three. It's second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. Can't be sure how much of that was planned pre-snap, but it certainly opens up some avenues for their offense. And if he can stay a threat to break off those kind of runs, it'll pull defenders away from coverage and open up some choice throwing lanes for him moving forward. They go play action here on first down. Steps away. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Open man here, the tight end Henry. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackles made at the Cowboys 25 yard line. The third down conversion successful, a gain of 11. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there. They're putting together a very strong drive as a response. And that is.
is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Harris. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Now Jones to throw on third down. And he fires one, but incomplete. I feel like my man, Old Mo, momentum might be changing jerseys right now. How about what they just got done? They scored a touchdown on their last try. Now here's a three and out. Maybe momentum's getting ready to creep to the other sideline. And folks, kick is good. And they will open their lead up to a touchdown at 24-17. So a nice kick there as they add three to the lead. And from what I've seen so far, Brandon, I think they've been the better of the two teams here in the first half. So even though you want the touchdown, I think that's a nice job there to put three points on the board. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Good drive last time. it up now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit i would anticipate the defense making some changes but i wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction they're doing so well throwing the ball yeah why, why i wouldn't change it up until they showed me a reason to do so prescott's throw pulled in by lamb and they're able to get this one across the 35. prescott and lamb hooking up for the cowboy first Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And he'll go right back to Lamb. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A first down carry by Elliott. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. One thing I was lousy at growing up, track and field. I could never anticipate the start before a race, but how about the backer? He figured it out, jumped the count, and turned it into a really nice play for his defense. On second and 11 now. Prescott. Able to hit his target, Lamb. Two yards on the pickup there. And that's going to set up a tough third and nine. Oh, time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. And he's got the first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 31-yard line. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. Find Lamb, that's complete. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. From the red zone now, Prescott. Over the middle here to Brown. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. Four yards remain for second down. Zeke going to get it on the option. And let's take this one inside the 10 down to the 8. A three-yard pickup on second and four. Now they'll need to convert here on third and a little more than a yard. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Play action now. Prescott. Quick hitter here. It's complete. So that'll go as a four-yard loss on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. Brett Maher now for the Cowboy field goal. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. The kick by Maher is good. And that'll bring it back within four. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, 
you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks can tell us end it with a kick, right? PAT, that's number one. Field goal, you'll take. Punt, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Running back Damian Harris to the Patriots, ready to go on their next drive here. He's in his own second quarter, already closing in on a 100-yard game. And that's the magic number for a running back. Anytime you get to that triple digits, that's all you're looking for. But he's got a chance to really exceed that in this one. Yeah, he does. That, that's been the gold standard for a long time, hasn't it, that 100-yard mark? It really has, and that never has to shift because it's in a game. It's a thousand yard mark. I'm wondering since we've gone from 12 to 14 to 16 games. Maybe we need to up that a little. Well, when you go from second to four to third and three, that just tells you who won that battle on the last play, huh? Yeah, first round went to the offense, second round the defense. The connection here with Nelson Aguilar. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. And even 100 yards rushing for him now to this point. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Now here's another carry for Harris. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Looking to throw, Jones. It's a short one here. Get to the tight end. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. On second down, this is Harris. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Seven yards there and a first down. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. Jones on first down. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. Today's NFL, these big guys are featured receivers. They move them all over the place to try and find good matchups, and they had one. They were just unable to complete the pass. Good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. The improv act there, good for nine, and now they'll be looking at a third and short, third and one. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Heavy set out there on third and one. Jones keeps it himself, and he will have a Patriots first down. At least it would appear that way. He didn't get it by much, but yes, they do get the conversion on third and one. Back to throw, Jones. And he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Another try after the first down sack. Jones. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. Look now for Jones and the Patriots here after the sack. It's third and long. Now on third and long. They'll look to throw, escaping the pressure. Now Jones is hit. He lost the football. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And they will finally stop him as he's down to the 40-yard line. 
And that play just looked a little helter-skelter from the start. That's the risk as a quarterback. Once you take off with that football, you might fumble it, and he did. And he was going for the reward, which is gaining yardage, breaking down the defense. But you're right about the risk. Always lurking out there. Someone always trying to get to the football. Try to find a place to cover up and slide and protect what you've earned. Throwing again on second down. Prescott. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Good defensive call right there because they had someone shadowing him along his entire route. And he was right there ready to provide a hit that prevents him from making another catch to his big start. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And he got the first. timeout now as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one Prescott on first down and he finds his target it's Schultz and he's going to be marked down just outside the 10 first down now but that clock rolling looking to throw Prescott flush to his right Slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Now a signal and a timeout call as it comes with nine seconds to go in this first half of play. And now a timeout defensively after that first down play. So they're going to make this offense sweat out half number one. Second down at four. To throw. Prescott. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Tom Schultz in the final seconds of the first half. And the Cowboys have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. Extra point by Marr. Up and good. And that gives him a three-point lead. That time, a six-play drive. So six seconds, all that remains of this first half as the kick is away. Fielded right around the eight. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The final second ticks by, and that's for the first half of play. So we reach halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman in our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful Nick. Well, time is up the essence. We breeze through halftime, and we are ready for the second half. Both these offenses have been in fine form. What will the second half bring us as we are underway in quarter three? Oh, the return is Jones from the end zone. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The Pats at the line, ready to go. But Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Golf has been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. Harris going to get it again on second down. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. 125 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Now a play fake here on first down. He'll get this to his tight end. It's Jonu Smith. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Jones keeping it on the sneak. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back on the line of scrimmage. Oh, now a running play here with Smith. 
And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. It's no accident they've been moving the ball well all game long. This offensive line has done an excellent job adapting to everything the defense is throwing at them and creating holes for their runners. Jones throw here taken in by Parker. And they're going to get this up to midfield. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. First down, and they go back to Harris. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that game. Rolling to his left. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Work now for Jones and the Patriots here after the sack. It's third and long. Jones now on third down. Looks for Parker, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Anthony Brown. And that could turn out to be a giant play, Charles. You've got an offense driving to take the lead, but they're turned away on the INT. And I think that we might look back on this in the fourth quarter and say, that was the play of the game. on the carry. Good pickup on first down. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. He didn't just deny throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. Now Prescott, and that nearly the pick that they needed. He couldn't pull it in, though, and it's fourth down. On fourth down, Prescott goes off, and on comes the Cowboy kicker, Brett Maher, for the field goal try. The kick by Maher is good. And the drive will wind up yielding three. Whatever was said in the locker room during the break must have worked. They forced the turnover. They didn't get the touchdown, but it does translate into three points to begin this second half. Exactly as they discussed in the locker room at halftime. Get some points to get things kick-started. Now start your half off with some momentum. Gives you something to build on for your next possession. New England's offense set to go. As this offense takes the field against CD, remember last drive, they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly interception, so we'll see if they can right. A leap, and he's got it! He got it! And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. We have seen big plays from both quarterbacks throughout this game, and there's another one right there. Going back and forth, almost like two excellent guitar soloists trying to top each other with each additional play. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. They run with Harris. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Again, it's Harris on second down. 145 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. They were not fooling around at all, were they? Second and short, and they brought out the heavy package. Almost felt like the super heavy package against that defense, didn't it? Yeah, I don't think they expected that much beef up front, and it turned into an easy first down conversion. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Mark, that is a gain of 16 to set him up first and goal. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taken them no time at all to get down here, and now they're set up with a first and goal. 
Here's Jones. Off the play fake. There's Henry. Touchdown, Patriots. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Patriots are an extra point away from taking the lead. And Charles, they continue to have trouble stopping him as he's into the end zone yet again. Yeah, that's multiple series now that have ended with him in the end zone. A perfect plan on how to utilize him best when they get in close. Full connects on the extra point, and that will put them on top here in the third. That time, 75-yard drive, five plays. And it's finished off by a Pats touchdown. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you've met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. Anthony Jennings coming in from that outside linebacker spot. He gets him down. It's a loss of five. He only gave them an instant to react. It was a classic case of if you blink, you missed him. Off of the line and to the quarterback in just a couple of seconds. Running back only had a moment to react and attempt to throw a block. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Got his man there complete to Gallup. And he's going to be brought down short of the first at about the 31-yard line. So the completion good for six yards. And that's going to make it fourth down. Here's Brian Anger now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And out will come the offense as they take over. We we'll get another look at Devontae Parker and the Patriot offense. And I know that they double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? It's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. They'll keep it on the ground. Harris again. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Two yards good enough for first. Off play action. Jones. They'll roll. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. After the sack on first down, Jones, open man, the tight end, Henry. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 44-yard line. A good pick up there, 26 yards. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. Now Jones on first and 10. Right back to Henry, and Henry's got it again. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. I don't care what sport you're playing. Everyone likes to build up a little momentum, don't they? And look at this, back-to-back -back completions to the big target at tight end. That one not as profitable as the other, but still a decent game. They'll wind up getting four down to the 36. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. Trying to pick it up on the ground, Harris. And he'll be taken down at the 34. He needed two, he got one, and it's gonna leave him with fourth down at a yard. This has been an up and down, back and forth talk of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive took a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settled things down a little bit. Their 
tight end on fourth. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. They're able to keep the drive alive seven yards that time, and the decision to go for it proves to be a good one. So a moment to catch our collective breath after the fourth down conversion. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. This complete left side to Aguilar. And down he goes, taking inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. The end result, 21 yards. And these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. When you run in the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. Second down and goal. Jones. There's Henry. Touchdown, Patriots. It's a six-yard touchdown pass. And the Patriots will add to their fourth quarter lead. So an important drive for them there. They're not home, but momentum, Charles, definitely in their favor now. And I like the point you just made. They're not home yet, but a one-point game, and if you kick the extra point, make it an eight-point game. Only one score, but you're right. Momentum definitely in their favor right now. On for the extra point is Folk. And with that, the lead is up to eight. So that one, a long 11-play drive. And it ends with a New England touchdown. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. No run back here, down to a knee. And this drive will start at the 25. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. There's still plenty of time here in the fourth quarter. Just a one possession game down at the eight. They'll be looking for the touchdown and two point conversion. A field goal here on this drive does very little at this stage. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Maybe a good spot to take a shot here, second and a yard from the 34. Now Dak on the option left. He'll wind up getting two there as he does it himself and picks up the first. So that was all you're looking for on a play like that. Get the first down and keep the drive moving. Yeah, it just looked to me like he just said to himself, I've got this. I'll take it. I'll pick it up and let's keep moving. Get the first down, get a new set, and let's start over. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. It's a gain of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. A first down throw for Prescott. And he goes down. It's a Patriots sack. Matt Judon picks up his second sack of the afternoon. But defensively on the previous play, they gave up a pretty good chunk of yardage, but right there, they got a good portion of it right back. And if we just flip it around from the offensive perspective, Took a nice step forward. How about a couple of leaps backwards after that play? They've got to figure out a big call coming up here to try and gain that yardage back. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instincts. Being able to diagnose runner pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed down hard there. He was ready for that running play. of 11 and it brings up fourth down and this dominant defensive performance continued on that play this poor quarterback he's not received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often here's brian anger now as he's on to punt for dallas
And a fair catch signaled for it and taken just outside the 20-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10 at their own 21. They'll start the drive with Harris. And he'll go down at the 26 following a gain of six. If you can keep getting gains like that, Charles, with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it, but what the offense coordinator has to do is understand. They're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage. What runs do you have in your arsenal that will work against a stack box and continue to move the ball? A three-yard pickup on second and four. Now they'll need to convert here on third and a little more than a yard. On the ground with a tight end. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. Nine yards that time. How about that there? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. And the throw here caught by Devontae Parker. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it. And that's going to bring up second down. They hand off to their big tight end. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. And this offense on third down today, they've converted six times and could use a seventh here. This will be third and five. And he won't get to the marker. He's a yard short. A pickup of three and leaves him with fourth and one. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. A solid pickup of five and a very solid fourth down conversion and defensively pure frustration. Jones, off play action. Checks off the sack. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Harris running straight ahead. He'll get only three there. So it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team defensive tackles because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. But he's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Again, it's Stevenson. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Able to stay in bounds, so the clock keeps rolling. And this defense right now backed up in the red zone. Another touchdown, it's over. They've got to stand tall quickly. Been in this spot before. Now there's a little bit of desperation creeping in. And all you're doing when you're talking to your defensive teammates is first guy there, hold him up. Second, third guy in, break it the football. Get it out. We've got to create a turnover. There's one more score, and this game's over. Two yards, good enough for a first. Straight ahead, Stevenson. He'll get this down inside the 10 for a pickup of about three. 
Well, the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but works some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. And he'll be taken down after a pickup of about seven as the clock will stop here for the two-minute warning. So the Patriots with the football as we get you reset. They're facing a critical third down now as they try to hold on to this lead. They didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. Here's Stevenson, and he is in. Touchdown, New England. Ramondre Stevenson taking it in from a yard out. And the Patriots have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. Everybody in the stadium knew what they were going to do right there, CD. Three tight ends on the field, all that extra bulk, and they run it in. And you saw where that one went, right? You run it over your best blocker. You can see the head coach right now. I want to run this one over the big boy. And they got it done. Extra point up and good by Folk. And the lead is up to 15 now. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. The Cowboys looking to get going again in a hurry. Now Dak. Trying to drop one in, but it's incomplete. And now the focus is really clear. They need to get that first down and either get out of bounds or maybe use one of those timeouts. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. To throw, Prescott. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And unable to connect, incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Desperation time. Prescott on four. Complete. Pollard. And he is going to have the Cowboys first down. It's a game of 12. Yeah, they're feeling like they've got a 48 issue here. Maybe they 
you a chance to have a really good game. But give credit to the defense. They really just stood tall throughout. And you could be in the exception in the end zone. Get down to the end zone. Thank you. 